Hey you guys, it's your girl Just Behave and I am back with another video and we're gonna get straight into it. So um I'm gonna be reviewing this House Labs by Lady Gaga foundation and I'm so excited y'all. So this is the color 370 medium neutral. Y'all can see that. 370 medium neutral. And this is how the bottle, this is how the bottle is looking real cute frosted or whatevs and um we're gonna go ahead and try it so i'm just gonna shake it up if you're like the same skin tone as me i'm noticing that normally with foundations i would purchase warm tones and then i would have that really carrot look after it oxidizes and then i get like really dark so basically i learned that i'm neutral so if i buy products with a neutral undertone it doesn't look too bad on me or whatever so i definitely recommend that y'all do that right okay so um we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it so i already prepped my skin with the bobby brown face cream and then um that was pretty much it i didn't put any primer on my face this time but usually i use the secure the sweat by patrick star but we ain't really doing too much today so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this i'm just gonna put it on with my finger and then blend it out so i just did two pumps i'm gonna see how far that takes me so i've been hearing really good things about this foundation y'all and um this was popular around the same time that the mario the makeup by mario was popular so i was like I don't know, because the makeup by Mario was really oily for me. The color was beautiful, but it just was too oily, so I couldn't rock with that one. So I'm just going to blend this out. And I feel like the shade match that I did in the store was pretty good. Is it me? Or like sometimes when the girls at Sephora and Ulta shade match you, like it be so off. Like it gets on my nerves. So sometimes when they walk up to me and they're like, can I help you? I'm like, no, I literally can do this myself. I can pick the wrong color myself. But you know, that's just what comes with it. So I'm just learning now to just not ask for assistance because half of them don't be knowing what they're talking about when it comes to my shade. I can guarantee you that every time they've recommended a color to me, it's been the wrong color every time so i'm just over that so i just do it myself and shade match as close as possible or try to you know look up youtube videos of people who wear um a color that is close to the color that i wear so i can see but as y'all can see y'all i'm over here talking it's blending out really really good um i don't do my eyelids because i have eczema so that's a no-go for me and um i'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer and stuff but i could i feel like i could go without concealer if i wanted to like this is really beautiful. I really love how it feels. And it's blending like a dream. It feels really nice. And it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. So I'm feeling that. Let me go with this smaller brush to get that off of my under eye. But wow, y'all only use two pumps, and I feel like the two pumps is more than enough. So, I'm going to now go in with some concealer on my under eye and um, some contour. And we're going to go ahead and see how this foundation does. Okay. But I like her. So, so yeah. <clears throat> So the concealer that I want to use today, hmm. I've been feeling the Dior Backstage Flash Protector Concealer. So I think I'm going to do that. This is the color for W. And I also have the foundations. I reviewed those. I love the foundation too. So we're going to just do this. I wonder if House Labs has foundation. I mean concealer. If they do, I might buy it because this is giving. I love how it looks. 
Let me um, zoom in so you guys could kind of see it. So it's giving like skin, right? Yeah. Okay, zoom out of my business. Okay, we're going to zoom back out. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go with the brush and, um, oh, not the pro turning around. How did my light turn off? All right, y'all, so this is how it looks applied on my face. And I really like it so far. I'm not going to lie. It feels really lightweight. Um, it has like, you know, a dewy kind of look. I actually don't know if this is a matte um, foundation. So, um, it says that it's a clean, cutting edge, long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. So, um, yeah. All right, y'all. So, it says that, um... It's infused with 20 or over 20 skincare ingredients, buildable, medium coverage, luminous, second skin finish, ultra fluid, weightless formula. So what I'm getting from this is like it's not super matte or whatever. So it says that it's clinically tested, non-comedogenic. I don't know what that means, but I know that it's a good thing that it's non. Um, dermatologist tested. Okay, we're here for that. I love that. And also, ophthalmologist tested. I don't know what type of doctor that is, but I'll look it up. <laughs> and fragrance free, and I also love that it's fragrance free because sometimes I don't like the smells. So it says to shake well, blend onto clean and moisturized skin using the House Labs foundation brush. We do not have that. And, um, or fingertips. Um, I'm just gonna do it with the brush. I don't know how I would've blended out with my fingers, but whatever. So yeah. We got the brush on. Now I'm about to put concealer. And um, this is the color 4W in the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. So we're just gonna go ahead on with that. And I don't really use concealer that's like too light for my complexion. Cause I don't like the bright under eye on myself because of my skin tone. It just doesn't look nice on me personally. Or maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I need to look up some tutorials on that. But I do not like when my under eye is too bright. So, yeah. That's just my personal preference. But, you know. To each his own. So. These are basically the areas where I apply concealer. So I do that. And then I go in with this Makeup by Yolando. This Makeup by Yolando in the color 242 DD. And I guess it's deep, but it's a concealer. And I really like this concealer. So I just go put a couple of dots around the areas where I don't want my foundation to bleed through. Like I don't want the foundation to go into like my hairline. So I put it up here and then we're gonna go across that double decker chin okay but yeah now we're gonna go ahead and blend that out so I'm just gonna go in and I do this top part first because I do not want this to dry up before I can get it into my hairline so yeah, I use this to warm up my face. Being that I have a neutral undertone, um, I don't really get warmth. It's just pure like blah. So I love a good concealer or contour that could really warm up my face. And this one isn't like too dark or whatnot. It just looks good to me. So that's pretty much the vibes. I just blend in my contour first, and then I do my concealer. And this piece of hair just wants to be in the mix. But yeah. And then I still have some on my finger. I do my nose a little bit. Pretty 
much that's about it. So, after that, I get my beauty blender, press that into my nose, then I start blending Doing my chin, the sides of my lip, lips, whatever. Then my upper lip. Then I'll go into where I put it on my cheek. And now we're gonna do the under eye portion. So I go with my beauty blender, but I wanna start um, using a brush to blend under my eye because I've been seeing girls do that and it seems more effective so I think I'm gonna start doing that I don't know yet but you know y'all how it come so do that then next eye So I'm just gonna take some more concealer and we're gonna put that in like the inner eyelid area. And I'm gonna blend that right now. Cause that's where I feel like my um, contour be lacking, like that little corner in there. My blending brush doesn't get that, so. <clears throat> Do that and blend it out. Now I'm gonna go in with this one size setting powder in the color Sweet Honey mixed with Derma Blend, and this is the color Original. And I just blend it on the top like that. Mix it up, and then I go with this powder puff and blend one more time. And then apply. A little bit of setting powder. I'm going to the other eye. Blend it out one more time. And then go with the setting powder. Period, y'all. Period. Then I'm going to go around my mouth, both sides of my nose. forehead and I'll go over my contour with this because um, I just wanted to set in place so. but I don't put too much powder because I don't want it to look caked up Okay, so now that looks good to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face with the bronzer to you know, bring the warmth back into my face. And I use the Hula or Benefit Hula Toasted. I love this one. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some on this brush. Yep. and then just work it on my cheek area just a little bit you don't need too much y'all
And that's just to set the tone, you feel me? So, yeah. Then, I'm just gonna dust off any excess powder. So now I just take some and I put it on my eyelid because I don't put much on my eyelid just to remove the greasiness or oily, whatever's oily. <clears throat> now my beauty mark, y'all, I gotta like put a dot right here to bring it back to life. And then we're gonna do our lips. So back with my next. I'll leave all of the products that I used in the description down below so that you guys know, you feel me? But this is for like, you know, This is also one of my faves. The Lava Cake by NYX Butter Gloss. Love it. I'm looking for something else, y'all. I don't know what it is. They count in the south. They didn't think they'll be the main video. And this is also Nick's um, meringue. Are you going? In the middle. Just give me like a little bit of pink. The Plump Effect Lip Gloss by Sephora and the color 01 Outrageous. Y'all, it is almost done. I love this stuff, it's the best. I'm just gonna go over everything with it. So now I'm gonna set with this Infinite Mattifying Setting Spray by Revolution. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll link it. I'm just gonna go crazy, you know? Okay, so after that, I just go in with my... Wait, I don't feel like I have any over here. You gotta get it. All right, so this is pretty much the finished look. And I can say that I like how this foundation feels. I do feel like it's buildable. I love how it looks on me. This shade is a really, really good match for my skin tone. I didn't apply any finishing powders or anything because I didn't want to change the color of the look. I just put on the Sweet Honey Setting Powder mixed with the Derma Blend just to lighten it up a little bit. And I feel like this is cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't use any primers or anything. So that's it. Just the Bobbi Brown face cream. And that was it. So I'm going to go ahead and just wear it out. I'm going to go run a couple of errands. Give me something to eat. But so far, so good. I love how it looks. Real cute. I really like how it looks. Like, it feels really good. So... That's pretty much really, really good. 